Oh! Oh, no! No! Welcome to GT Not Live, where today it's the middle of summer, and as I think about summer, it makes me think of summer reading assignments. Did you did you have that, Ash, when you were in high school? Summer reading assignments? Oh, you know I did. Be so many of them. Because high school is so eager to give you homework, they're like, do it over the summer too. Do it over the summer too. Yeah. Like why? Why do they why do they have to do that? I don't know why they care so much. Right? <laughs> They're like, oh, we got to get you to read these three arbitrary books in the middle of the summer so that way we can get the year off on a good start, I guess. I, so I was a little nerd in high school yeah. and my senior year I took, because my high school schedule it was year round classes. Oh, wait, so you didn't have a summer break? Um, oh no, I did. It was just like, it wasn't broken up by semester. Okay. So I had the same class from like August to May. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So, uh, -huh. uh four of my seven classes were AP mm -hmm. and oh, hashtag humble brag, humble brag. No, you know, kind of a smart cookie over here. <laughs> no, no. I just smart, non-existent uh, fog like entity. I just like to torture myself a little bit. Understandable. Um, so that entire summer, each AP class mm -hmm. was forced to have summer assignments. Yep. So, oh man, so you were just downloaded with a lot of stuff, huh? Yeah, I had to make a Google Calendar breaking up the AP work because I knew man. I wasn't able to put it off to the last minute. Man, Good. wow. It was whack. That's 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 a bummer. When you have to schedule the work into your stuff, that's rough. It was so that's rough. rough. That's rough. I will say, so I, I, I see your story, and although I was in a ton of AP classes as well, I also humble brag. I, yeah, I, I have to match you, right? <laughs> well, but back in my day, back in my day, you didn't actually have to do anything for like AP Calc or AP History or AP whatever. Like the only one for whatever reason that you had to do stuff for was AP Literature or or Reading. But this is even before AP. So I was in uh, uh, Honors Language Arts, Honors English, whatever you call it. Like I believe our, my school called it Honors Language Arts. Um, but this was my very first year, so going into freshman year, so leaving middle school, and they give us this assignment of, here's three books. There's two assigned books, and then you have to read one biography. The biography can be who you choose. Uh, so for the biography, I chose Alfred Hitchcock. I watched every single one of his movies as a part of my summer reading. Uh, so now I'm very well versed in the works of Alfred Hitchcock. Um, but another one was, read this novel, and then do a character analysis of the characters in this book. And that was the that was the assignment, huh? Right. the The thing was, there was like seventy plus characters in the book. Oh. And me being, you know, young upcoming freshman, I'm like, I, this is my first ever high school assignment. I don't know what they expect of me. There's <laughs> and there wasn't like a page limit. There was no upward bound. There was nothing for me to gauge the level of work that I had to do with this thing. So I did. A hundred pages in total. No. Like, I literally no. wrote, a, I turned in, when it's like, turn in, you know, go to the high school and slip it through the teacher's mailbox or whatever, I literally had a hundred printed pages of work that I submitted to him as part of my, as part of <laughs> my summer reading assignment. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I wrote him an, and, and I'm like, there were, there were no bounds. How would I know? Do a character do a character analysis of the characters in this book. There's like a hundred people that talk. You went into like all of their childhood trauma. Oh, absolutely. You know everything it about them. It was high them. school, man. It was the, it was the big boy league. Yes. This one middle this one dinky middle school anymore. You're a ninth grader now. Oh yeah. And so, you know, Mr. Hill needed to be impressed by my language arts. And I, I, he didn't read. I'm sure he didn't read it. <laughs> he didn't read it. There's you no way. You needed to impress Mr. Hill, so you wrote him a mountain. I, <laughs> I did. Yeah. yeah, I did. I impressed the hill with a mountain yes. of paperwork. How uh, how did he react? Uh, you know, he he. La I, uh, so when he handed it back, I don't know how he reacted in the moment, right? Because uh -huh. I slipped it into his mail, but like, 
he's not there at school. So, like, I slipped it into his mailbox and, like, right. he picked it up in the middle of the summer or whatever. Um, when he handed them back on, like, the first day of school, though, he he laughed and he's like, and the, the, the award for most overachiever goes to <laughs> Mr. Matthew Patrick, who wrote 100 pages. And I'm like, well, yeah, how many was it supposed to be? <laughs> like, I don't, I, I'm like, I don't know. How many was it supposed to be? Was I only supposed to do, like, five characters? Ten characters? Be specific. Yeah, you have to You have to outline, like, what you want. Right. There has to be structure. It, there needs to be structure. Otherwise. Otherwise, there's chaos. Yeah, exactly. If you don't separate your bones from the meat, you get chaos. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that's... Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. But, yeah, true. That's, that's a... That's a that's a heist with Markiplier reference. Yes. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you know that? I did. You know, yeah. Nice. Ooh. I don't know. No. High did, five. Did you do heist with Markiplier? I did some of it. Did you find me in it? You just knew that you just knew the reference? I did. Oh, yes. Okay. There yeah. you go. Good. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> be specific. Best book that you read? Summer reading? Did you ever read? Did you actually read it? Because I was talking to Matt oh, earlier and oh, Matt says I he read... didn't read anything. He didn't, Matt. Matt. Matt got through high school without reading a single book, which okay. to me, b b bef I was befuddled. Okay. Be uh <laughs> bewildered, befuddled was I. I I did I did read. Um, I did too. Yeah, I mean during during the school year I got a little uh, a little shake shaky. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know. Um, turns out taking four AP classes at once is not a good idea. It's it's it's, it's intense. It is. Um. But I, this is going to sound so dweeby. Bear with me, y'all. Okay. Um, how to read literature like a professor slapped. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Great. That's great. Good for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was able to look at things so differently. I was like, oh my gosh, Snow White. It's the Garden of Eden. Look at that apple. Whoa. And it was really great. That's awesome. Yeah. So it expanded your mind. It did. It, it did. It got you thinking like a professor or one might say a theorist. A theorist. Thinking outside the box. A theorizing professor. Mm, yeah, there it is. Things fall apart also went hard. Oh, what? Chin, you want a chubby, man. Yeah. Things fall Why? Why is that always a... It's so interesting to me <laughs> that of all... And, I, I, you know, I get it. It's, it's a very, you know, uh, very popular novel from a very particular part of the world about a very particular... But it's just, that is the one... Yes. That any one time I ask people about summer reading or like, what books did you read in English, guys? Always. Chinua Achebe, things fall apart. Let's put your professorial thinking skills to the test, oh, shall yeah, we, Oh, yeah, the pro professorial skills I learned how many? Four? Five? Year? Oh, well, I don't, let's, can, I don't want to think about that. Let's continue. Ash, once you gain those skills, they're forever with you. Once a theorist, That's, always a theorist. Thank you. Yeah. That's so, reassuring. Yeah. So you've added it to your tool belt of knowledge. Now pull out that tool and let's hammer some nails, which are the Baddington tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphor for the win. I, I was in AP English. Uh, so anyway, uh, to catch you guys up, uh, this is kind of the latest of our live reacting slash uh, theory crafting videos that we're doing right now. Uh, Baddington has created this really interesting world uh, called Harmony and Horror, where we have animatronics, puppets, toys, what have you, coming to life, potentially being infused with spirits in some way. Uh, last time we reacted to the first three of the tapes, got a sense of who these characters are, uh, started to learn some of their names, started to learn some of the backstories, but really we're still in this kind of nebulous mystery zone, uh, mostly because Ash and I spent way too long talking about other things. But, like the Muffin Man. Like the Muffin Man. Ooh. But the uh, critical, critical yes. was learning about the Muffin Man. I still have him. I still have the note right here. Muffin Man sus. Muffin Man is sus. Also, heads up, just in case you need to write more things. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Look Wonderful. At me. Just as sporty as last time. Muffin Man sus. Banzo is the bunny. Henry is the dummy. And there was a secret code, but it wasn't really a secret code. Where yes. It was less CI lie. Great. Cool. <laughs> that was All right. Word. Do you need a writing utensil? Do I need a writing utensil? Yeah, I do actually. Woohoo! I like that you also drew your your poser. My poser. Your poser. Your my, phony. My decoy. Yeah, your decoy. Your phony. You 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 drew him. 
And then you also gave him some sweet tea, I'm assuming. Yes. For him being... It's a little hard to... It's his, it's his southern comfort right there. Yeah. There it is. I also I see that you're fun. testing out different... Imposter, phony, decoy, doppelganger, or impersonator. I think phony is the way to go. I think phony's phony is the way to go, too. Phony. I just wanted to be a little creative. Well, let's see what phonies exist in the Baddington tapes. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with, I want four toys. Or, I want a toy, but... Or four. Let's be honest. I want a toy, but would I tur turn down four? No. No. I'll, I'll take four. Why not? Be greedy. Mo mo more the merrier. Exactly. Do it! Great. I asked Matt this once when we were reacting to one of these uh, analog horror things. Mm -hmm. SLP. Do you know what SLP stands for? I do not know what that stands oh, for. Man. man. So old. You think you're old being like, oh, I learned that four or five years ago. SLP <laughs> stands for super long play, uh, which is there were different ways that you could record on VHS tapes. Ooh. It would depend and basically it would allow you different levels of quality, right? So if you wanted to get the most out of your VHS tape, you would record it on super long play, but it would deteriorate, like it would kind of stretch the tape basically oh, okay. and it would have lower quality, whereas slow play would give you high quality, but you get only like two hours of record time out of it. Gotcha. There you go. So super long play. It's not going to be high quality. Mm. SLP. Now you know. Now I know. The more you know. Yeah. Why didn't advanced language arts teach you that? Didn't <laughs> learn that in AP class. Exactly. Mm. The only VHS, VHS tapes I watched was like Peter Pan and then Kiki's Delivery Service. So that's all I know about VHS tapes. Great. Yep. That's all you need, really. Exactly. Here we go. <clears throat> I've got my notepad. I'm ready to jot. Oh, he's got a bop. Speaking of things that slap, Henry's song <laughs> slaps. Oh, whoa! Oh my gosh, we've got like actual animation going on. This is exciting! Wow. I'm With these series, I'm so used to like still images or like very, very, you know, puppet wrapped or uh, like flash animated like bone work. This is, this is full on animation. This is great. His mouth is way too big. Great. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder where you are. Is it where you are? I'm 99% I'm sure it's what you are. Right, isn't it what you are? Get with the program, Henry Puppet. Maybe maybe that was an artistic decision. It could have been. Maybe it's symbolic. What's, what's your pro professorial mind tell you? <laughs> um, um... It's... It's indicative of Henry's disconnect with typical human society. What? Wow. Like a puppet, he too is being puppeteered by his own ignorance. Wow. Here it is. Oh, man. I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> also, he's doing that thing that singers do. You don't need to add in extra notes. Up above the world. So, no, just sing the notes, man. He's, 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 it's like he's singing the like national anthem. And like, ah! It's like sing the notes. Just okay. adding like unnecessary runs. Yeah, you don't need to riff it. We all get we all get it. Accuracy to the music is what's import, important to me. <laughs> no, 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 it's going off the rails. Mm. Yeah, it's going off the rails. All right, great. <laughs> Thus concludes. Our concert. It's gonna get invited to Coachella next year. <laughs> huh. Oh, hi. Hey. Sure is dark out. Would you wanna sing with me? Deja vu. Great. Twinkle, twinkle, hmm. I feel like it's not gonna go as well this time. Yeah, a little flat. A little flat, just arch your mouth a little. Ah, open, open up that soft palate in the back. Ah. See, he's, he's working on it. Did, did you hear? Did you hear his scre screams of help? Yeah. I was, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, that's terrifying. Oh no, no thanks. No, here, no, no. This is this no, is, no, no. That's my note there. <laughs> Do not want. Oh, that's horrific. Our phony is holding a lot of information right now. He's. He, 
<laughs> he's an all-star. He, for, he is. For, for a uh, character with no hands, he's holding a lot of information. Okay. Is that symbolic? My professorial, um, you know, my instincts are telling yeah. me that, you know, it's like how the blind man always sees more. Like an Oedipus. Wow! Thank you. Man. Thank you. Man. Well done. <laughs> Chinua Achebe would be proud. Mr. Hill would be proud. Oh my gosh, I'm honored. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Hill sends his regards from <laughs> Medina High School. Hi. Sure, dark out. <laughs> right. Hit it when my eyes pop out of my socket. Oh, this is wild. This is really disturbing, actually. This. Mm. Don't, dude. Nope. Nope. No thanks. Hard out. Hey, he got his eyes back. The ice cream man's gonna rip his eyes out? <laughs> yep. Ripped out his voice box, maybe? <laughs> Do not adjust your television. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Oh, oh man, here's... I didn't know Siren Head. I didn't know that Siren Head was making a guest appearance in Harmony and Horror. <laughs> that sound is horrific. No, I have had night terrors about that noise. It's, a, it's so scary. It is. I mean, I, I guess it does its job, which is to get your attention. Yeah. And warn you. Oh! Oh, no! Woo! What is that? I don't like that. Oh, I do not like this. Oh, this is, this is, oh, this is bad. It's bad. What is that thing in the back? Is that like a spirit? Is it a skinned human? Is it a monster? No. Oh, this is. What's this? What's this? My daddy loves me. <laughs> he loves me so. That's good. I'm so glad. Even if he beats me. Oh no! So, so to be fair, all this daddy toy talk. So now I'm feeling seen right now because Ollie right now is going through this thing where like, he's like, why should I be good because I don't get a toy or like a treat or whatever for it? And I'm like, no, try to explain this to a kid. The idea of like, no, we are good. It, it's a good idea to be good, but also you're building up good points and you're more likely to get things down the line like toys and stuff. But he's got this idea of like, well, I'm good but I don't immediately get a toy or something. And so trying to decouple that idea. Anyway, this, seeing, seeing this. That frightened me at first, Matt, not gonna lie. Cause we were talking about dark stuff and you were like, yeah, actually I relate to this yeah. because I was like, oh no. Also the whole knife in an eye thing totally related to that too. Cause I stabbed a guy in the eye the, the other day and it was, it was weird. Oh yeah. So, you know, the, the, there's the fatherhood story part of this, but there's also the stabbing people in the eye. Okay. Okay, okay let's, let's. I tell him, please, I always try to put him at ease. My daddy loves me. Oh man, I love stories with daddy issues. Can I have 
toy. No, you just earn the toy, and maybe no. if you're good for the whole week, then maybe he you can. Then, then maybe you can cash in. You're a bad boy. I don't say that. That's that's not that's not and reinforcing positive one. parental. No. I want one. I can't reward every behavior. No. That's going to be spoiled. He no. Says, no, stop it, dummy! Shut it and go. Can I have one? I've been so polite. He, sure. Go to your room. Oh, at least he's self-disciplined. He says, oh, he says, okay. I'll surprise you at night. Oh, Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Uh, secret hugs and kisses at night. Secret a little hug. Good. Surprise you in the night. Great. Well, that was that was uh, that was intense. Okay, so who did we meet? We met. So we met creepy red guy. We met this guy, which. Yep, I, I I don't know. And then we we had Ice Cream Man. Here it was. I, it was right after this. Oh, that is great design right there. That is horrific. But it's interesting, right? So the story started off with Henry the puppet, right? Like he was the first one that we met. We see that weird spirit creature or whatever maybe entering into build a bear, pumping his heart, and, and now he's alive. The, but now it seems like Ice Cream Man might have been our first character because he's coming in and doing things to Henry? Hmm. I also think it's kind of odd that... Um... Like with Henry, there was the lyrics, there was a knife in my eye. And then we gradually see him like lose his eye. Lose his eye. Yeah. And then he stops talking or singing. Right. Um, so I think that's interesting. Like no, to I, see how that like the parallels with that. Right? No, a hundred percent. Right. The the idea of Henry losing his eyes ties into Henry on stage losing his eyes. The idea of there being a parental relationship here makes me wonder if what is Ice Cream Man Henry's He's dad? Father? Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. Tell him please. I always try. So he tries to be a good boy. So then, so then in this world where, and again, like building off of what we know from like SNAF Lake stories and things like that, if people are becoming one to one with characters, is this a kid's spirit inside of Henry then? Is this going to be is this going to be our Golden Freddy? Is this going to be our angry uh vengeful spirit who Oh, poor Cassidy. Yeah, right, is this Cassidy? Is this basically the Cassidy equivalent in Harmony and Horror? Yeah, because Maybe. with um with Ice Cream Man boy thing, there was that whole conversation of like Yeah, Milton and Arthur. killing killing the dog and then the wife. Right. So that could imply that there is, like, some kind of, like, familial structure here. Right. Yeah. Um, but we need more information because that could just be, like, completely unrelated. <clears throat> but, you know. I also, I, I know I've been talking about the, the elite speak that's been in the titles of these. I also love the fact that it's, it's it reminds me of the Spongebob meme. The, the, the hen-pecking Spongebob meme where it's like, oh, yeah. It's the sarcastic text. Reminds me of sarcastic text. Don't cry. Oh, yeah. SLP. You know what that is now. What's it stand for? Super long program. Play, but that's fine. Oh, play. It's great. It's super long. You got the you got the first two, right? Yeah. Two out of three. Bad. Okay, that's passing. Okay, we got a new one. Sophia. Sophia the singing marionette. Sophia. I don't know if this one is purposely done in a different aspect ratio. Hello. I am Sophia. Oh, this is already in a bad place. Nope. What? Well, That's your job. Oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh, we, we are started off in a hurry! Okay. Alright. No thanks. Nope. 
do no 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 what oh, I was gonna make a joke about like oh what whoever like created this program in the 80s what a great idea they had like oh yeah let's set her in like an all red hellscape with like ritualistic candles this is gonna be totally kids programming this is totally fine so we've got another weird face here two weird faces because look th I mean this looks like nose Mouth, eye, and this is obviously definitely a face right here. Are there two faces? One face. Um, what do you think? Are all the frames of this image like that, or does it move slightly? It, it kind of shifts around. Okay. But it is the same image. Hmm. I mean, it could, yeah. It could just be a weird shadow on whatever the underface is. Weird. Okay. Let's keep going. Mm. Tip through to the tulips. Great. Haha. <laughs> mm. Yeah, tip don't you want to tiptoe through the tulips with that guy? Who wouldn't want to tiptoe through the tulips with that one? Exactly. He's, also, he's kind of, or she, I don't, I don't know the pronouns of this, of this, uh, marionette. Um, puppet, yeah. But like, Vogue. <laughs> yeah, is that what you're thinking, Vogue? Yeah. To me, I, I see this and I'm like, oh, Anonymous is really recruiting young these days. Oh, Gee whiz. Super, super fan of V for Vendetta right here. <laughs> like. <laughs> Get him early. This guy's this this little baby creature is actually just like pro hacker, doing oh. like espionage online right now. Man, you give you give him an iPad as a kid, and they just grow up and look at him go. Oh look, they, baby's first steps. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh. He's like, y'all seeing this? Little, little guy's growing <laughs> up. Oh, wow. He's running, too. Just going for it. Chariots wow. of Fire over here. Yep. Man. It's so moving to see years of parenting come together like this. Hey. Hi. Yep. <laughs> Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Mama. <laughs> okay. Did he... Is his mama a shadow or is he just looking off stage? I, I'm trying to see if there's like anything in the shadows. No, I think this marionette's just about to perform like right? one of the songs off of Welcome to the Black Parade. <laughs> Actually, I think the album's just the Black Parade. Great. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, the marionette stands my chemical romance. Like 15 years before it happened. There you go. Right, if this is still in the 1980s. Yep. Mama! Oh. There's that ice cream man. Ooh. Ooh! Oh. Hello! Someone got a bump on his head. Bonk. Huh. That is weird. So he... So ice cream man... Smacks the wall, which, as I tell Ali, make sure that you're protecting your head. Your head is your most important part of your body. You know, so got to protect our head, our brains inside of their ice cream man. Also, the 15 rows of sharp, deadly teeth that you have in there, also very important. Um, what are these sounds? Close caption isn't getting anything, huh? Huh. Oh no! There's a spooky clown now! Pennywise! There's a spooky clown! Spooky clown! No one said anything about spooky clowns! What are we uh, doing? Uh. Like a child, oh. a clown. Mm. Oh jeez. Wait. 
There's too many daddies in this. There, there, right? I was going to say, there is a lot of daddies. How many going. daddies do y'all got? <laughs> Maybe. Consider this, Ash. Okay. What if the clown is also the ice cream man? Oh. And is also daddy. So it's a daddy who's a clown who's also ice cream. And they're all in there. A single dad who works two jobs. Right? It's, it's hard, man. Who kills gotta... his kids and never stops. <laughs> right? With aggressive hands and the heart of a fighter. He's, he's, there are no survivors. He works hard for the money. So yes. hard for it, honey. Here we go. <laughs> I order you to come here right now! Not great. Uh... Huh, okay. Okay, so notice the wallpaper. Yeah. Wallpaper is the same as we saw in... Uh, the second video, Ice Cream Man 2. Oh, uh, right. Where the weird, evil, like, lanky spirit appeared. So I think that's important. Okay. So this is in the same... House? Space. Same house or space or whatever, yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Get back in your room like I told you. What do you want? Didn't you hear me? Uh, see, you you're, peeking, you got, you're peeking the audio, man. You gotta stand further away from the mic. Turn down the gain a little bit. It's oh, fine. Dear. No. No. Hmm. Is Daddy getting some comeuppance? Macy strikes back. Right. So okay. So presumably. So since this is introducing us to Sophia, but we also have this girl named Macy. I wonder if Macy, I mean, it... Is Macy it makes me part think, of Sophia? Yeah, Macy and Sophia are maybe one of the same. And then it's also one of those things where the fact that he's saying, like, oh, now you can sing forever as much as you want makes me think, like, was she... Like, did... Again, pulling from, like, FNAF lore, right? It's the idea of, like... Was this person dead in some way that he then brought back to life or gave infinite or dying in some way that he then gave infinite life so that way she can sing forever? But oh no, when you mess with spirits, things go bad. Yeah. Also, this makes me think like, okay, maybe because we have this new, a new daddy figure. A lot of daddy figures, a lot, yeah. There's a lot of daddies here. Yeah. Um, But this is the first instance where we see someone who's like, yeah, I'm your daddy. I'm also a terrible person. That's fair, yeah. So I'm wondering if Macy and Henry, or whatever child Henry was, yeah, yeah, yeah. were like siblings? Sure. Right, no, it, it seems like it's a family affair. Because also in the Milton Arthur talk, there was, uh, I'm taking the kid, like there was, there was reference to kids, multiple mm -hmm. as well. The, right. Like your, the wife, the kids, um, and the dog. Uh, Literally like a nuclear family. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty, yeah, pretty yeah. traditional, like, boy-girl. Boy-girl baby, because we also have the baby now, too. The baby. Yeah. Do you think this baby's a non-binary pal? I think Rounded this, out? I think this baby is <laughs> is a, a broken, fractured marionette creature that is crying inside their animatronic suit. Oh, gosh. Right? I, I feel like that's what this is, right? Oh, it has to be. All right, that's a baby. Maybe. That that's totally a baby. That's like the Gerber baby. You could slap that onto like some some strained peas and sell it at the grocery store. Not the strained peas. I mean, this is the face. <laughs> this is a strained pea face. Let's be honest. Like, if you're if you're really doing truth in advertising, this is about as good of a face as you're getting out of the kid when he's eating the strained peas. And that's why you lie in advertising. <laughs> oh no! Oh, there's a spooky clown coming up. So we're hearing someone laughing while also taking... Hmm. 
because this is what this story needed. That's what FNAF needed. More evil clowns. It's, it's more human, because he looks human. More human evil clowns. Great. Is it moving? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Hmm. It's like all the trigger points. Oh. Huh! Oh no! Oh! Now we see. Now we see your face. Oh no! I, I don't know if I. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't love that animation. Ooh. Wait, I get a choice? Bandersnatch. <laughs> right? It's Choose Your Own Adventure? <laughs> do, I, do I get a choice? It's annotations? Oh, man. Mar the, 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 oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, it is. is. Oh, cool. It is. Oh, wait. Here we go. True to true to form. Could, when, anytime you get these choices, these binary choices, you always want to make sure that you're like wait until the end to see if there's anything else that happens. Ah. Oh. oh boy. Okay, I guess I guess I said no. I shall not sing. Hold up. Here, let's go back. Real, before we move on to a choice, this is this is disturbing as all get up. You know. Sophia! Sophia is, I, like, I know we're worried about, like, the, the designs are so scary in this. This is, this is probably the scariest to me of the ones that we've covered so far. Like, FNAF is like, oh, that's cutesy. Walton Files, okay, we're getting pretty violent and scary. Uh, <laughs> Harmony and Horror, oh, the emphasis on the horror, because uh, this is, this is rough right here. Look at it. Oh, that head just splits open. The eye sockets are so huge. It's like an alien. And it's the final frame here. Huh. And in the final frame, we see the demon baby. I'm wondering if demon baby is also pulling a lot of these. Like, it seems like the kids have a lot of power here. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what do you think, Ash? Do we sing? Do we not sing? I, I, obviously, Ooh. we'll go down both paths. Right. But, uh... Do you want to sing for Sophia here? Um, you know, I'm a little afraid to say no. Yeah, right. Me too. Honestly. Also, it seems I, like she's been through a lot. Yeah, I don't want to make her sad. Right. Let's sing for her. Let's sing. That's the least we could do. Yeah. I'm going to sing some Pop Goes the Weasel. Muffin Man? Some Muffin no, Don't you dare summon his name. <laughs> if you don't you dare summon him to this room right now. <laughs> I won't. I won't. Classic Muffin Man. Some, some Hamilton. Drop some licks from Hamilton. <laughs> yeah. I can sing for you. Nope. 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 Don't like the crescendo that's happening. Do you know the song? What is it? I don't recognize it. Um, I know they played it. I think it it was in you. Um, it might just be you belong to me. Oh. I... Oh. Oh, we're getting a good close up of the face. Huh. Mm. Dentist's best friend, Sophia. Like, don't have to deal with any lips. Teeth are right there on display. You ba barely have to ask her to open up and say ah. Like, the teeth are just right there. It's great. Every dentist loves her. <laughs> Four out of five dentists recommend the Sophia doll. This is her happy face. She's glad that we sang for her. A winner is us. Did, did, did we do good? Congratulations. She's stunned. 
She's like, you actually sang for me. Oh, all right. Cool. Huh, weird. How many people chose sing? 136,000. All right. So that was option one. Option two. No, let's not sing. This is... Ah, 200. Man, a lot of people really don't want to sing. They're self-conscious about their, their voice, apparently. All right, here we go. Let's say no. What happens? Oh, we already got a boom sound. Yeah, right. She's mad. She's mad. Angry. She just wanted someone to dance to. She just needed a good bop. Some Fallout Boy we could sing for her. Oh, yeah. It's interesting, her, her design with the... Same song. It seems like we wound up singing for her anyway. Or we just put... Oh, that sound effect! Crunch. Oh! Oh, no! No! The claw. She's like a frog! Boo! Boink. Apparently the clown enjoyed that moment. Ha ha! Ha! He's happy. <laughs> so good. So good. Do not watch at 3 a.m. These animations are crazy, by the way. The designs of these, this is unreal. It's like a snake. Oh, wow, and the tongue even splits apart? Like a face hugger? Oh, I thought it was just like a tongue to begin with. Oh, but it's, oh, it's like a tendril. <laughs> it's like, got full on tendril mode here. Wow, Sophia. Yikes. Uh, so, I mean, very interesting from a standpoint of, like, this is very reminiscent of the, uh, like, the, the fun time animatronic era where, like, the different face plates are able to move and manipulate. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Like, and, and we saw that a little bit with uh, Ice Cream Guy, too, where his face is able to kind of unfold and reveal all these teeth. So th the fact that their faces are so versatile is, is interesting. I don't know what it tells us. And, and still... I'm not sure. So I, I, I think we're still talking about a family, it mm -hmm. seems like. Yep. Presumably a family that's been killed and had their souls stuffed into animatronics or puppets or whatever you want to call it. Like, what are these? Are these toys? I guess they're toys. That's the differentiating fact. I think so. Well, okay. So there was the, that one doll. So the baby is... So the baby was like an animatronic because it was able to like walk and move out. It's almost like a robot. The... You had the bunny, Banzo, so that was a toy. Yeah. You have a clown man, which seems to be a human. Like, the clown seems human. She's a puppet. And then you also had the ventriloquist. So you have, like, a combination of, like, dummies and puppets and toy. It's, it's a mishmash of a lot of different things going in. It's, it's interesting. I, I think it's a little strange um, that they introduced the marionette and then this, like, baby uh puppet thingy yeah like animatronic in the same episode yeah right um, it's, it's unusual it's confusing because it's like is it the the same is it different i don't like that's that's tripping me up right now it's a good point you know that's actually a really interesting point because i i didn't consider that i i saw them as two separate entities but now that you bring that up okay so to your point right the baby whatever this thing is, has this this notch on its head, right? Oh, yeah. And then at the end, we see a similar notch. Oh, this is no, I shall not say. Where Hold he up. opened. Yeah, where, where, Sof where Sophia opens up in that same spot. Yeah. So there is the possibility. And also here, so it, there is the possibility of like them being one and the same and maybe the robot or puppet or whatever grows up or becomes that. You also have this sequence here for all its creepiness where presumably clown father, daddy clown oh. is like, I built you. I, what, what's the phrase he says? 
he made you this way so you could sing. If you could just do like slightly less heavy breathing into the microphone, yeah, clown I, daddy. I don't like daddy. Yeah, the heavy breathing into the mic. Like you don't need to do that. And you can't leave. You can't leave while I'm here. Okay, but but so it implies that maybe to your point, like this is a living, growing doll in oh. some way, or, or a living, growing robot. Because you're totally right. Like the fact that we meet it here. Body structure. Mama. I'm trying to see the body structure. Like two, two, so everything's double jointed and it's got like a midsection to pivot. I mean, it is a different body for yeah, sure. Yeah. But, I mean, that's not to say that this body couldn't potentially be put into something else. Or be like have strings put on. I, I like that thought. I think that's worth definitely keeping in mind. The other thing that I think is worth calling out here is the fact that, okay, so here's the official season one playlist, right? And even yes. though we were presented with two options, No, I Shall Not Sing is the one that is officially in the sequence huh. as opposed to Yes, I Will. So I'm assuming what that is telling us is that is the canon choice of I Will Not Sing which in turn means that Sophia assimilating us or attacking the cat. Like, I, I don't know what role we, like, what was she attacking in that moment? Question one. And then two, the clown, is is the clown happy about that? Set? I, I, again, not sure, but whatever that final reaction is, that is what is canon, I guess, in, in the slate of the narrative. Yeah. Hmm. This is tough. This is interesting. Like, and I don't, and I say it's tough, but I, I'm not like there's still not enough there to know kind of what's right. This is all just speculation, right? I, I, I think this is one of those as we get introduced to more and more, we're gonna start seeing like because there's a lot and these get long actually. This is nine twenty five, so they get pretty long. And then teaser, what went wrong? Seems like we're getting some real faces. Ooh, there's a code one. This one looks like it's in code. Count with one, two, three, count with me. Oh man. Hey, is this Mandela catalog? I feel like I I feel like this face is an obligatory face in any analog horror series right here. Hey, can do we have a do we have a good stretched out black and white scary face? No? Well then we can't call ourselves analog horror. Put it in! Is that our Gene Simmons? That might be our Gene Simmons, actually. Oh, wow. That's right. That's, that's right. <laughs> We can't forget the role that Kiss plays in this. No, that's you're totally right. I have not mentioned Kiss at all in any of this. The clown might just be Star <laughs> Eye Guy from Kiss. I hope not. He doesn't sound like a good fellow. Here. Uh, Kiss Band. Hold out. <laughs> this is it. Star Eye Guy. The Kiss stands are probably so upset. Yes, all the Kiss stands that are watching YouTube, specifically our channel right now. All three of them. Hey, you don't, <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know. I that. have a strong suspicion. Look, so it's not Gene Simmons. Clearly, clearly, our guy is not Gene Simmons. I don't know. Starface over here. <laughs> I'm telling you, Starface is looking sus. You, you know, sus. What do you think, phony? Phony. Our unnamed phony. Unnamed. We need a name for for phony. We do. What should we name phony? I don't know. We can. We can. Hey, what should we name phony? Give us. Give us your names. Please. What should we name Phony? I don't know. The first thing that came to my mind was Jerry. I don't know if that works, though. <laughs> Jerry? Yeah, Jerry yeah. the Phony. Mm, that's funny. Yeah. That's That reminds me of, because uh, Matt and I were playing Eve, and, Eve. It's, and it's Gary, the, oh, the like Gary? anime like boy who helps you out. It's named There's... Gary with two R's. Gar Gary. So. Jari. Jerry. Jerry and Gary. There it is. <laughs> yeah, don't trust. Do not trust. No, you don't trust with a fate with a when you're painting your face like a like a mime cat when you're a cat crossed with a mime. No, there's two star faces. I didn't realize that. Look, because he's got star face and he's got star face. Mm. See, one of them was jealous of the other one. Is is that what happens? That is, that's what happens. So one of them. One, one of them branched is... off and said, "You know what I'm gonna do." 
I'm going to go make some living animatronic children <laughs> and teach them to sing. That's because... why Sophia sings! Oh. She was trained to take his place alongside Gene Simmons in Kiss! We've we've got we've it. We've cracked it. We don't need to watch any more of these. We've, we've done them. We've got it. We solved it. We solved it in episode six. Well done. This is just a way to make more Kiss songs without the competition of Gene Simmons and other Star Eye guys. That's it. Beautiful. Done. Wow. Did it. So uh, anyway, now that we've solved it, I think we can wrap it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, maybe we'll check in with Baddington here in another episode just to confirm that our theory is correct. You know. It, it, there, there's always room to double check that like you, you knocked it out of the ballpark and we can do our victory lap from here on out. Or, who knows, maybe some new characters will be introduced. Like, uh, Jewel. Dido. Jewel? I, I'm trying to think of like other weird genres of musician that I can mix into this world. Um, <laughs> Elton John. There it is. Elton John's Ooh. gonna jump in. He's got story. some star-shaped glasses. He does. He could be a star-eyed guy. He could. Star-eyed guy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!